If you've ever seen Danish furniture or Danish architecture, you'll know that the Danes are really good at two things, simplicity and practicality. This school of design has influenced a lot of what we consider as stylish or in fashion here in Canada, both in relation to furniture design and buildings. In Copenhagen, you're gonna see things like the Wave, the Copenhagen Opera House, and the Lego House, but you're also gonna see Co & Co bicycles. This company is Danish to its core and is designed around sustainability, functionality, and practicality like all Danish modern design. Co & Co is a Danish bicycle company that is focused first and foremost on sustainability and usability of their bikes. The company was founded by two people with product design and engineering experience, and their first bicycle was actually made out of wood. Yeah, mit navn er, er Mette Valsted. Jeg hedder Paul Harder Kohn. Vi er designer og producerer selv og alle vores cykler. Vi startede for mange år siden med at bygge træcykler. Vi startede sådan set med køreoplevelsen. Hvordan kan vi forbedre den? Vi, mm. vi synes ikke, at det var noget, der, der rigtig spillede. En meget, meget fin måde at være bedre på, det er at være mere bæredygtig. Vi skaber produkter, som har en lang levetid. Vi arbejder lige nu med et materiale, som vi kalder Stoneweave. Vi selv har udviklet verdens første bæredygtige kompositmateriale. Nordhavn er altså et lidt sjovt sted. Den der sammenspil med det nye i nuet og det fortabte, <laughs> det, det er så egentlig meget interessant og meget karakterfuldt. Ånden og det industrielle og historien i Nordhavn er jo fedt at med sig og fylder selvfølgelig med vores hverdag. Co&Co as a company started in the heart of Denmark, in Copenhagen, the capital city. It is built on the fundamentals of sustainability, practicality and functionality, and all of their bikes are designed for that. Co&Co is dedicated to making sure that you ride your bike as long as you want to, and that it has a sustainable end of life when you're done with it. They've designed the recapture program to fulfill this need. The recapture program allows you to sell your bike back to Co & Co after 10 years, at which point they will assess the bike and either resell it to someone who would like to use it or recycle the frame. This is actually passed on along with the lifetime frame warranty between people. So if you buy the bike and then sell it to someone else, the warranty goes with the bike and doesn't expire just because the original owner doesn't own it anymore. The Co & Co Eric is a bicycle at its heart, but it's also a design masterpiece. This is a bike that you can hang on your wall with pride. You don't have to tuck it into a closet or into a garage. You're probably going to want to have it hanging in your living room to show off. That belongs in a museum! This is a bicycle, but at its heart it's a Danish bicycle. So it's going to be leaning hard into the functionality of Danish design. It accomplishes this with clean lines, muted colors, and really interesting geometry that makes this a really comfortable bike to ride. Aside from its geometry and appearance, the most interesting thing about this bike is its composition. It's actually made of carbon combined with basalt, a volcanic rock that is formed into a composite resin to make the frame of this bike. This material is recyclable, lightweight, and non-corrosive, meaning that it's a perfect bike to use throughout the winter months when salt is a major concern for most other bicycles. It's also incredibly durable, but still absorbs shock from the road to make this a really comfortable urban bike. The nice thing about this combination too is that it's lightweight. It's just under 20 pounds for the smallest 54 centimeter frame size. This bike also features a carbon fork, meaning that this bike is going to be really comfortable if you're riding it on uneven or potholy urban roads. Another neat design feature of this bike is the single-sided chainstay and seat stay. This is a really unique thing that most people don't notice off the cuff, but its design is intentional. It's used to reduce the weight of the bike overall while maintaining structural integrity. Just because you're missing the seat stay and the chain stay doesn't mean that you can't install a rear rack on this bike. It has two eyelets either side of the seat post that allow you to attach a regular rack to this bike, making it a true grocery getter should it need to be. 
Another intentional design choice is the 650B wheels. 650B wheels accelerate quicker than a larger wheel, meaning that if you're coming off of a red light, you're gonna be able to get ahead of traffic quicker than if you're riding a bike with 700C wheels. This makes the bike agile in urban traffic and fast on the flats. This bike features a carbon belt drive. This is a really unique design feature as well in that there's no chain on the bike, meaning there's nothing to lubricate, grease, or get any dirt onto your pants. The carbon belt drive lasts three times longer than any chain and is near silent, meaning that this is gonna make your bike really quiet and comfortable to ride. If you're a winter or inclement weather rider, you'll really appreciate that this bike has disc brakes, allowing you to stop on a dime when things are really wet. The bike also comes spec with Schwalbe Kojak tires, which are designed for speed as they have a slick design. Like any good city bike, this bike comes with fenders, keeping you dry in wet weather. And should you be wanting to use this bike for longer rides, there is a mount to attach a bottle cage for hydration. If you're planning a trip to Denmark, please check out Co & Co while you're there. And if you can't plan a trip to Denmark, you can always buy one here at Curbside Cycle in Toronto and live out your Danish dream. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.